Good afternoon, more Medic One. Today I've got a little camshaft and a crankshaft on the bench. I'm going to show you how to line these up um, so you can get the valve timing. If you look, there is a little mark right there that's in between the gears. What you want to do when you get the engine put together and you get your crankshaft and your camshaft in there. You want to look on the crank, and there'll be a little, if you can see it or not, but there's a little dash mark right there. And you just line those up, just like this. And then that's timed. However, sometimes there'll be a big old bearing over this right here covering the, the shaft, or covering the gear. What I do, in that case, uh, a lot of times the bearing will come off with uh, won't come off with the sump. It'll stay on there. Uh, what I do is I'll it doesn't matter where you go with the cam or the crank because it's already in time before you take it off. But what I do is uh, I'll actually take me a marker and uh, mark the gear and mark the crank right there before I take it apart uh, and time it that way. Either way, uh, they'll time the same. Uh, you can either pull the gear off, which is labor intensive. Sometimes you have to have a press to do it. But uh, just leave the bearing on there and make your own timing marks before you take it apart. Works fine. But anyway, if you have any questions about Briggs & Stratton engines or four cycle engines in general, let me know. More Medic One. Have a good day.